there guys welcome to this uh, video tutorial for the pro business team and what I'm going to do here is I'm going to show you how to create the different content blocks that we've created within this theme for you so these are the, the few that we've used on the home page but uh, if I just navigate over here to the content boxes on the features page and you can see that we've created the same that we're on the home page there so a, a preset solid background color with white text the default grey colour with the black text and the borders and then we've got one here with nothing assigned to it, no style assigned to it we've got the next one which is just the grey border and we've got one with the preset border and then we've got one here with um, a, so <coughs> pardon me, a solid background for the preset colour and a solid for the default grey colour so I'm going to show you how to just create these content blocks and, and assign the different styles to these so what I've done is I have created a a new blank page here so just content block demo and then in the tab uh, the other tab here I've got the admin for this page open so what I'm going to do is turn visual composer on and then we're just going to add a row so we've added the row to visual composer and so that we can um, just create a content block where there's no um, style assigned to it we're just going to I'm just going to add a text block into this row so if I go here add text block and I'm just actually going to um, get the content for this from another window here. So just give me one second here. So if I just get that, and then I'm just going to paste this into here. So if we save that now and then update that. And then if we go to the home, to the demo page you'll just see here that it's, a, it's full width content basically so I was just put in the full width content in there so if I want to assi assign a style to some of this content what I need to do is I'm going to create another row so if I just create another row underneath this so I can show you the difference so we've got a row at the top a row underneath that we then need to click the plus icon for the new row and we're going to add a row within a row I know that sounds a bit funny but you can see there now we've got a row within our second row now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just copy this block here I'm just going to drag it down into the row within the row and then if we just if we just update that and I'll just show you the page as it as it's building so we'll go to the front end, front end <coughs> and then that page so there we've got two two rows but the bottom one at the moment there's no reason why we've got it in a row for a row so what we know is we actually click on the edit icon for that um, row and you can see here we've got column styles so you can, we can choose between the different column styles that we've got here so if I choose border radius title preset that one will um, give us the solid preset color with the white out text so if I just save that go to the front end and then update that So you can see there, it's, it recognizes the title from the H tag. So it separates that out, puts the solid block there, and then puts the text underneath that. So what I'm going to do here, actually, is I'm just going to click the plus here. I'm just going to add a gap. Um, where's the gap? So there, we'll just put a gap in here just to separate them out slightly. So we've got a gap there. So we'll just update that. And go to the front end. Oh, sorry, wrong page. Go to the front end and just update that and you'll see the gap just break them up a bit just so I can see what I'm doing here so that's that one there so the next one I'm going to add again we need to add another row so if I add the row so you can see we've got another row here so I'm going to break this up into two columns so if we oh, no, sorry first thing I need to do is add another row within the row so we've got that there then we separate that into two columns so that we're able to edit the style of that column so then into each of these I'm just going to copy this again if we put that in there we we'll copy that drag that into there and then if we click the edit so well yeah well, again, I'll save where we're up to and just show you how this page is building so just refresh the home page uh, the demo page so you can see here we've got the two new columns with the demo text in so I know I'm just going to copy that gap as well just to separate these out here so I'll put that gap underneath there so we've got that so 
what I'm going to do now is assign another style to this column. So it's a column style here. So we'll actually choose uh, border radius title. So we'll save that one and then we'll assign another one to this one. And then we'll just say on this one, uh, just the border radius. So we'll save that. And then if we update this page, <coughs> and then go to the front end and then just refresh that. You can see here now the page quickly taking shape. So this one has got the, 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 the solid gray background with the black text. And this one here is just the border. So you can see from all the different styles that we've got in here, how quickly and easy it is to change these. If I just want to change that, I can go in here and we'll change that to uh, background, background color. So this will be the background preset color. Just update that. And then if we go to the front end, just refresh that, we'll, we'll actually see this area here update. So you can see there now. So it just, I think there's five different styles in there just to help you guys create the pages that you want. Because not every page will, will want to be a full width page. You know, if you want to break the page up with the sidebar and put different columns in there, we've, we've given you these different styles to work with. So... Once again, what, uh, thanks for watching this video tutorial. If you need any support, please contact us at support at cmssuperheroes.com. Thank you very much.